Welcome to Ivy Chapel United Church of Christ. Monday Thursday Worship. Let us praise God together in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We gather in the name of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved, I invite you to bow with me now in prayer. Let us pray. Compassionate God, you are the source of healing and resurrection. Without you, we are hopeless. Without you, we are lifeless. Without you, O oh God, we are separated from one another. Forgive us, we pray, if we doubt or fear or hold back at times when you are calling us to partnership in Jesus Christ. Be with us this night as we gather in remembrance of Jesus sharing the Holy Sacrament with the Twelve. We come together to remember our Savior, beginning this sacred ritual of Holy Communion on the occasion of the Last Supper. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you now. O Spirit of Christ, be with us as we gather to worship you. Amen. Yeah. 
Monday Thursday is the Christian High Holy Day when God's Church remembers the final occasion on which Jesus of Nazareth gathered with his twelve disciples before his arrest, trial, and crucifixion. Hear the word of God from the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world. Jesus said to his disciples, You know that in two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, and they conspired to arrest Jesus secretly and to kill him. But they said, Not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. On the first day of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover meal? Jesus said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them. And at that house they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus took his place at table with the twelve. During supper, Jesus got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel. After he had washed their feet and had returned to the table, Jesus asked the disciples, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also must wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example to follow. You also must do as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. Truly, truly, I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Truly, truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And the disciples became greatly distressed and began to say to Jesus one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. Jesus answered, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then Jesus took a cup, and after giving thanks, he filled it and gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine again until that day when I drink of it anew with you in God's realm. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, this night you will all become deserters because of me. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Let us pray. God of astonishing power and compassion, we give you thanks for your willingness to enter this world 
as a human being. We give you thanks, Christ Jesus, for allowing your body to be broken and your blood to be shed so that all others may be forgiven of sin. We pray that you will continue to be with us on this evening and throughout Holy Week. Remind us of the depth of your sacrifice. We pray in your blessed name, Jesus. Amen. Amen.